Hello everyone, this is 2nd December 2013 and I'm your host Madhusudan Raj in front of you once again. Today we want to talk about this real estate you know, uh, bubble that is building up in India. Last week the National Housing Bank, NHB, came out with its Residex, the Residential Index and it is you know, showing that in the month of July-September, the time period of July-September, Home prices in 12 cities of India started to rise again and they are saying that this is some kind of recovery in the housing market and this is a good sign that the economy is recovering. But we all know, you know, those, you know, who are viewing my videos, you know, my economic reports since, you know, a uh, long time, they know that this rising price is a sign of, uh, you know, growing bubble into the real estate market of India. The bubble is getting bigger and bigger. And this is this rising prices are only sign of that you know bigger bubble that is building up in the real, you know Indian real estate market. Uh, they are saying that this, since prices have again started moving up trajectory, it seems that sector will soon rebound. Uh, in 12 cities, basically, uh, they are saying that the prices have started to move up. You know, which 12 cities these are? Uh, they are. The rise was most in Kolkata, 5.3% jump, followed by Chennai, 4.9% jump, Hyderabad, 4.77% jump, Ahmedabad, 2.69% jump, Lucknow, 2.14% jump, Gawahari, 1.36% jump, Patna, 2%, 2.04% jump, uh, Raipur, 1.29%. Jump, Faridabad 0.99% jump, Chandigarh 0.53% and Mumbai 0.46% jump. But as I said, this bubble is being fueled by the Indian Central Bank RBI. Now what they are doing actually right now is, as I said, since the starting of you know 2007 financial crisis, they have printed a lot of money and this money has entered into various sectors of the Indian economy and lifted the prices. So a lot of money has gushed into the real estate market because the uh, real estate home loan rates are the nominal rates are very much low right now actually the real interest rate is you know pretty much a zero percent because the nominal rates are something like 10 11 percent and the inflation rate according to the government statistics is also 10 11 percent that means the real interest rate is around zero percent so that is what this cheap money is what is fueling this price rise this is not a sign of a healthy economy rising price can never be a sign of a growing economy in a growing economy prices will actually collapse you know there will be a secular downtrend into the prices because in a growing economy production of goods and services is rising compared to the stable money supply but here exactly opposite is happening the supply of you know, homes and everything is not rising rapidly and other products also but the money supply is rising very rapidly because RBI is printing money like crazy and that is what is lifting these home prices but remember this home prices is all artificial this is a bubble what will happen is this bubble will ultimately bust because all bubble results ends into the boss and that will happen when the real estate uh, uh, when the real interest rate will start to go up when the and real estate, you know, real interest rates will start to go up, you know, because the inflation is right now very high in India. It is not coming down, you know, you know, as expected by RBI. What is happening is uh, actually the data came out, you know, in a couple of weeks, last couple of weeks time, and the retail inflation has again crossed into the double digits, 10% for industrial worker is more than 11, 12%. Even the wholesale price index is around 6, 7% again. So that, that prices are not coming down and there is a pressure on RBI to increase the interest rate and as they will increase the interest rate, as I said, the real interest rate will start to move into the positive territory and when they will go up, this real estate bubble is going to bust because see what is happening, this, because of this high prices, there is, high prices is basically, you know, it's, it's showing the symptom of a mismatch between demand and supply in the real estate market. The price is so high right now that not many people are, you know, you know, in a position to buy these homes. They cannot afford to buy these homes. So many of these, you know, apartments are actually empty. You know, uh, Surat city, my hometown, is also one of the cities where prices have risen. The Surat is, is part of that 12 cities where prices have risen in July, September time period. In Surat, the price rise is 2.12 percent. 
and you know uh, I think a couple of weeks back there were reports that the there were something like nine lakh empty apartments in C you know Surat city itself in my hometown itself what I actually want to do is you know once I'll finish my economic report this analysis I'm going to attach one video documentary 10 minute video documentary which I filmed you know a couple of not couple of you know one year ago in the areas where all this you know in Surat city area and you know actually backyard of my home where all these empty apartments are standing you will see the clear sign of bubble over there all empty apartments without any kind of you know infrastructure support without any kind of you know paved road without any kind of proper electricity connection without any kind of proper you know a sweet portable water connections you will see all these apartments just sitting there and since that time that that bubble is actually growing and growing there are many new empty apartments coming up in this area and what is happening in Surat city as you will see in the documentary the same thing I'm sure is happening in other cities of you know India also and as I said many empty apartments and there are many you know buyers who cannot afford to buy this apartment because these prices are very high artificially that is a sign of a mismatch and ultimately the market will correct and it will correct very violently what will happen is something will have to give because these prices cannot remain artificially very high when the as I said because of inflation when the RBA will start to increase their interest rate and when the real interest rate will start to go into the positive territory that is the time when this bubble is going to pop the Indian real estate bubble and at that time what will happen many people who are invested into the real estate market they're going to burn their fingers because many people are right now seeing you know these homes as some kind of investment and speculation vehicle you know we know that there is something wrong when that is happening because houses are for you know living houses are consumption goods they are not primarily investment or speculation vehicles many people are just parking their money you know whatever they have on right now you know you know you know overnight they are becoming richer so they are parking their money into all these apartments i know you know many people who have bought you know 20 25 apartment flats in one building itself in all these areas so what is going to happen they're going to burn their finger when prices will start to collapse because the real interest rate the borrowing cost will jump and people will not be able to you know take this cheap loan but as I said, we don't know, you know, I don't know when that is going to happen. Time, nobody can tell, nobody can predict the future. But what I can say based on the, you know, theory, the Austrian business cycle theory, that when the real interest rates will start to move up, this bubble is definitely going to pop. And the prices will at that time correct very violently. And people are going to get hurt into that, those who are investment into this real estate market. But as I said, that we will have to see, you know, in future, but right now I want to leave you with that with this video documentary you know which shows the sign of this rising bubble into the Indian real estate market this video is from Surat city my hometown and as I told you I'm sure the same scenes you will find in many other metropolitan tier 1 and tier 2 cities of India itself so thank you very much for watching me again I'll come back again to analyze you know other important economic events you know which are taking place in India Right now, I just want to say good night to all of you and enjoy the documentary. Thank you very much for watching again. Bye-bye.